about day one of a two-day room clearing class that's really aimed more at civilians or like patrol cops. So it's pretty fun. You guys did awesome. I uh, did an after action review and I'm kind of like, hey, what's the biggest stuff that, that really stood out to you? And the things that they were surprised about is they're trying to follow all the things on Tellman too and the thing about footwork and their techniques. And one of the biggest takeaways was trying to be able to think how an enemy would think. Like, if, if I was gonna ambush me, where would I hide? And so uh, the, the bad guys always are hiding in the obscure places. So when you enter a room, everything's important to clear, but the corners take precedence. So bad guys are always stuck in the corner or they're under a bed or they're lodged in some impossible place. They're behind a door or something else like that. So bad guys are ambush hunters. And so when you walk into a room that they're already ambushing you for, that's where they always are. So that was one of the big things that uh, the guys were walking away with and some of the ways the principles in room clearing so that the setup may change, but you're still able to think through it all in, in real time and space, cut thin angles, not over penetrate so we can really do good work. Uh, some civilians who are watching this are like, what does this have to do? Really the one two-man room clearing course that I'm teaching isn't as much for the SWAT team guys. We do stuff for those uh, guys and military guys as well. This is for the responsible armed citizen that's interested in responding to active shooter threats or you come home and your door's been kicked in. I mean, you going to, I mean, your wife and kids maybe inside. Are you going to wait for police? You know, they show up best case five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I'll call police and then I'm going in. And if you know anything about room clearing and the massive tactical advantage that an enemy lying in wait has on you, you're going to walk into an ambush and die. Uh, also, just moving in and around structures, outside restaurants, everything's just a game of angles. So this kind of thing is trying to help people think through this. Most of you won't really care, uh, but for those of us who are interested in how how uh, war and violent encounters are chess, being able to think through and parcel out a battlefield into thinly sliced angles and real space and time. This is really fun stuff. Hey so, guys, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I'm saying that every single video, all that good stuff. It's like a script for me. Train hard, but guys, train smart. See you guys.